Bonjour, we're here at the Carmelite Chapel where the actual body of St. Teresa lies. This is a beautiful, peaceful place with such gorgeous gardens and of course, as you would think, full of roses. I want you to take a look at the statue. St. Teresa was born, Therese Martin, to a devout French family in 1873. She became a Carmelite nun in 1888. She wrote her memoir that, in her memoir, that I may aspire to sanctity in the spirit of my littleness. For me to become great is impossible. I must bear with myself and my many imperfections, but I will seek out a means of getting to heaven by my little way. Her idea was to do everything in life, especially the little things, out of love for God and for our neighbors. We wouldn't expect, we are not to expect a reward or even recognition. Doing daily errands can be just as holy as doing missionary work. If our desire is to serve God as best we can, then that's what we need to do. Teresa dies of tuberculosis in 1897 at the age of 24 and was canonized as a saint in 1925. In 1997, Pope John Paul declared her to be a doctor of the church, one of four women only to be given that wonderful title. The Carmel Chapel contains the tomb of St. Teresa she is represented there lying in her deathbed, wearing the habit of the Carmelite order. Some of her remains are in the reliquy of her body, which is covered in wax. Just adjacent to St. Teresa are her sisters in her tomb. 